Legendary English cricketer Andrew Freddie Flintoff has subtly returned to television for the first time since he was sidelined for months due to a terrifying accident on Top Gear. The 46-year-old Ashes hero was glad to be alive when his open-topped, three-wheeled, 130 miles per hour Morgan Super 3 car, which was devoid of airbags, flipped over in December 2022, severely injuring his face and breaking multiple ribs. The BBC said that it will halt Top Gear after the nearly fatal incident, and in November of last year, the show was put on hold for the foreseeable future. It is said that Flintoff, who is still in the process of recuperating from his life-altering significant injuries, reached a £9 million deal with the corporation to compensate his lost wages for two years following the collision, in addition to serving as a coach for the England cricket team again. Flintoff has been in talks with South Shore, the production firm, about a second season of his BBC cricket program, Field of Dreams. The crew has been in communication with the former host of Top Gear, and filming is anticipated to begin in the spring. Freddie and staff have been quietly working on it since last month, a TV source revealed to The Sun. After two years, this will be his first significant TV project. Filming will take place in the north of England and begin in a few months when the weather is warmer. The insider went on to say that Flintoff is thrilled to be playing grassroots cricket once more and that many members of the Series 1 production team will be back. On December 13, 2022, Flintoff was operating a lightweight track day sports vehicle at the Dunsfold Test Track near Guildford, Surrey, when it overturned. The Morgan Super 3 has two wheels in the front and one at the back. The cricket player scraped his face along the asphalt in horrifying pictures that the TV production crew saw because the open-top car had no airbags and he was not wearing a helmet when the car flipped at about 22 miles per hour. After being dragged along the road, Flintoff reportedly needed many surgeries to repair shattered ribs and face bones. The BBC has refuted reports that some employees who saw it signed off sick, claiming to have been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. At his family's request, he withdrew from public life to heal. Last year, he revealed himself for the first time to train England cricketers. As Flintoff joined the team for their one-day international series against New Zealand, he was photographed for the first time in public since the September crash, showing obvious facial injuries. Rob Key, managing director of the ECB, made a suggestion yesterday that Flintoff might serve England for a longer period of time after seeing three Ashes tests as Key's unidentified guest over the summer. Flintoff, who made 79 test appearances during his playing career, joined the white ball team during their one-day series against New Zealand. The largest step in Flintoff's comeback to cricket came when he was selected the head coach of the Northern Superchargers for the upcoming 100 competition back in November. This came after he earned the respect of several England players, notably Stuart Broad, during his time with Matthew Mott's team. However, in an interview with the Tailenders podcast, Key praised the former Lancashire player, saying, you forget everyone grew up watching him. When he got with the white ball team, that was the first time he'd been seen in public. And it's wonderful to see that he's somewhat returned to his previous self since then. The other day, he went golfing with Jimmy Anderson. He's progressed greatly from his previous state. His empathy makes me believe he'll be an excellent instructor. Like Ben Stokes, who has also experienced hardships, he was a fantastic player. But your scars are what define you. In a way, Freddie is the same. They have empathy for players because they understand what it's like to fail. For them, leaving the game or getting struck by a ball means the end of the world. They comprehend. With Paddy McGuinness, Flintoff became a host on Top Gear in 2019. They became part of the main presenting lineup, replacing Chris Harris from the 27th season of the BBC Two show. The BBC indicated in a statement on Top Gear in November that it had chosen to rest the UK show for the foreseeable future due to the exceptional circumstances. The BBC is enthusiastic about new initiatives being explored with each of Freddie, Chris, and Paddy, who have been at the center of the show's revival since 2019. The BBC remains committed to them. We'll talk about this more in the near future.
Although we are aware that fans will be disappointed to hear that the show is taking a break, it is the right decision. This break has no bearing on any other Top Gear endeavors, such as overseas formats, digital, publications, or licensing.